I am here with Chef Moon from Momo Food and Wine, who's going to share her recipe for samosa along with a cilantro chutney. Thank you, Cindy. Um, so I'm going to start backwards, actually. So if you focus right here, we have a finished plate of our samosas, and the filling is a spicy beef um, with the cilantro chutney. And I'm going to demo exactly how we we make these. And so I'm going to start with the samosas. As you can see, they're nice and crispy um, with a uh, a spring roll sheet. So um, I have a set of them right here, and we have them wrapped up in a wet towel, and that just helps keep the the, the pastry dough. Um, soft. It doesn't let it dry out. So this is, I don't know if this is the right way or the traditional way. This is just how I was taught and um, how we grew up making them. Now this is some magic glue. It's not actual glue. It's a paste made out of flour and water and that's what helps keep this together so when we put in the fryer they don't just open up and explode. So you just want to make sure it has, you know, you get a, a good bit of it and you treat it like, you know, like a triangle here. So we're going to create a seal along the bottom and along this parallel edge right here. I know it's food, it's hands on. Yeah, that makes it even more tasty. It definitely does. And so we create a pocket like so. So you're creating a, like a cone, if you will. Oh, yeah. And then once you have the folds opened up inside, this is where the stuffing goes. Whatever it may be, vegetables, um, meat. So I have some sa sauteed ground beef here, which is what we'll be using. So, so what kind of it. ground beef? Is just plain ground beef? Did you add? What did you add to it, that? It's it's nicely seasoned um, with some very typical like Southeast Asian spices, like some cumin. I have um, you know salt, pepper, coriander, a little cayenne pepper, a little turmeric. Mm -hmm. So it's very typical of like the South. East Asian flavor profile. Okay, so now the important part is once you have your um, your stuffing in it, you're gonna want to push it down into the triangle part of it because who wants to bite into the last part of the samosa and have it be empty, right? That's just terrible. And then you want to fold down the the first the front flap and then take more of your glue and be liberal with it because it's not gonna hurt your samosa. And then you basically put the glue on the last of the flap and get it off your finger. And then you bring it all the way back down and just make sure to pinch the corners because otherwise it's gonna explode in the fryer. And then, you know, that's a whole day of cleaning. So there we go. And then we just take this, drop it in the fryer for, you know, about 10 minutes and then you get these beautiful little guys. So there's that. I am going to move on to the sauce. I'm going to start with um, some fresh cilantro and fresh parsley. So I'm just gonna take this, give it a rough little, rough little chop along with the parsley. Ah, so, so that's cilantro and then and regular, parsley. Yep. Mm -hmm. And actually it's a curly leaf parsley, so there's two types. You can use flat leaf or curly. I just like the curly because of the, the flavor profile. Um, I'm going to add some onion in there. So I just take this, and it doesn't have to be pretty because it's going into a ninja and it's going to do most of the work for me. So I just give it a quick quarter, throw two halves in there, take some fresh garlic cloves and throw these guys in there. Um, can't really do anything without salt and pepper. It's a little seasoning. And what I have here is um, just some crushed red peppers. And so I just take the whole dried red chilies and I put it through the ninja and I end up with the, you know, the crushed part. So throw a little bit of that in there. And then I have some chopped masala here, which is like a, a really awesome, robust blend of um, different like Indian style spices. So there's some um, asafoetida, there's cumin, coriander, um, there's just, you know, there's like a bunch of spices in there. And then I have some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Um, probably gonna do a, pretty much all of it. Um, and then, of course, the magic is the olive oil. Yes, I love it. Yes. Who doesn't love olive oil? Who doesn't it's love it's olive great oil. for you. Yes. So you want to make sure to get a good coating in there because this is what makes um, this is what makes it so yummy. That's a good like three quarters of a cup. Okay. And, and I know that we're using the the extra version. Yes. The, but so is there a difference with the flavor? Different? Okay, flavor. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna take this guy. This is so easy. Throw it on that thing, and then the work for me. I'll go ahead and 
pour this in there. And please yes. dig in. Yes. Dig in, yes. They're so yummy and crunchy. I like to break into it. That's just so all the sauce can go on the oh, inside. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, good. it just kind of drips off the ends. <laughs> good, good tip. Yeah. So there you go. See? 